Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I try to cross-reference a lot of things that I find in the field along with the Bible and historical facts and whatnot. Um, I also cross-reference with stuff that's in the Apocrypha, meaning transcripts or scriptures that were removed from the Bible. I found something a little interesting here. I wanted to read it to you guys. And it, it, it's an apocryphal text. So it's something that was removed from the Bible. And it, it came from the Testament of Solomon. And uh, uh, what I find this interesting is it, because I think that this is... Uh, may possibly be sort of a biblical record of a dogman text honestly but um i mean keep an open mind with this i mean truthfully keep an open mind i mean this is a biblical scripture and, and this if i'm not mistaken i think this is like 240 or 260 bc for this text but i want to read this to you you take it with a grain of salt, throw it in the garbage, whatever. Do what you will with this knowledge. But I'm going to read this to you. It's from 47. It says, Then I ordered another demon to come before me. And there came into my presence a hound, having a very large shape. And it spoke with a loud voice and said, Hell Lord King Solomon. And I, Solomon, was astounded. I said unto it, Who art thou, O hound? And it answered, I do indeed seem to be thee to be a hound, but before thou wast, O King Solomon, I was a man. I wrought many unholy deeds on earth. I was surpassingly learned in letters and was mighty that I could hold the stars of heaven back and many divine works did I prepare for I do harm to men who follow after our star and turn them to dot 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 and I seize the frenzied man by the larynx and so destroy them and then 48 says and I Solomon said to him what is thy name and he answered staff Rabdos and I said to him what is thine employment and what results canst thou achieve and he replied Give me thy man. Oh, I got mosquitoes biting me. And I will lead them away into mountainous spot and will show him a green stone, toss it in from which thou mayest adorn the temple of the Lord God. 49. And I, Solomon, on hearing this, ordered my servant to set off with him. And to take the finger ring bearing the seal of God with him and I said to him whoever shall show thee the green stone mosquitoes this green stone seal him with this finger ring and mark the spot with care and bring me the demon hither and the demon showed him the green stone and he sealed it and brought the demon to me and I, Solomon, decided to confine with my seal on my hand, on my right hand, I'm sorry, the two headless demon. Likewise, the hound that was so huge, he should be bound as well. And I bade to the hound, keep safe the fiery spirit, so that lamps as it were might bay by day and night cast their light though it's maw on the artisans at work. 50. And I, Solomon, took the mane 
of that stone 200 shekels for the supports of the table of incense, which was similar in appearance. And I saw him and glorified the Lord God, and then closed the round of the treasure, that stone. And I ordered afresh the demons to cut marble for the construction of the house of God. And I saw him and prayed to the Lord, and asked the hound, saying, By what angel art thou frustrated? And the demon replied, By the great Brias. 51. And I praised the Lord God in the heaven and earth, and I bade another demon come forward to me. And there before me one in the form of a lion roar. So that's moving on to a different, a different being. But what I'm getting at is you have an extremely large dog-like being who is part human. But his role is kind of messed up. You know, he changes people into what? Other dogmen? Uh, make you go mad? What? I don't know. He leads you off into a mountainous spot. Show you green stones. Um, I don't know what to make of that. But you got to figure these texts are are ancient texts. So, but I, I just wanted to share this with you guys, you know. And I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes. Oh my God, they're eating me up. I don't have any off one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is from the Testament of Solomon. But this is number forty-seven and through fifty. Uh, and uh, his name is Rabdos, and it translates to staff. This could be the first actual uh, depiction of a dog man in biblical literature. We don't know. I cannot say this is for sure. But looking, I'm going to look further into it, but it's a possibility. So I figured I'd share. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> So I figured I'd share that with you guys. That's all. I figured it's Sunday. So I, I share a little Babel thing with you that I found. You guys have a squash-tastic day. <laughs>